Welcome to another ACM Quick Tip video. This video will be aimed at showing you how to create a simple user form using Microsoft Excel. The first thing you will want to do is open Visual Basic in the Developer tab. Now we will need to add a user form. If you do not have the Developer tab, you can hit File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and check the box next to Developer. Once the user form has been added, we can go ahead and give it a name and a caption. Only the caption will be displayed on the user form. The name is for coding purposes. For my specific example, I have gone ahead and changed my user form name and caption to Ohio Houses. In my example, I have already included some text boxes and labels. To add a text box or label, you can go over to the toolbox and either click the text box or label icon and place it wherever you'd like on your user form. A label will be given both a name and a caption, whereas a text box will just be given a name. In the toolbox, there are many other tools that can be used, but for this example, we will only be using text boxes and labels. You may also change the font of a label or text box by clicking the box with three dots next to the font in the properties section. There are also many other options in the Properties section for formatting your user form. To make all of your text boxes the same size, you can select which boxes you want to change, right click, select Make Same Size, and either pick the width, height, or both. In this case, I will pick both. You may also want to do the same for alignment. Just select whatever you want to align, right click, select align, and align in whatever fashion you would like. Repeat the process until everything is in place on the user form to your liking. The same process may now be repeated for labels as well. The next step is to add some command buttons to your user form. For this user form, I will be adding two command buttons. Command buttons will be given a name and a caption. For this example, I will be adding a button to transfer data from your text boxes to another spreadsheet and a button to close the user form. These buttons may be sized and aligned as well. Once the buttons are added, it is now time to add some code to your user form. To add code to your transfer data button, double click the button. Here is the code I specifically wrote for my transfer data command button. 
This code will allow your inputs from your text boxes to be transferred from your user form over to another spreadsheet. There is also a function to clear your inputs once they have been transferred to your other spreadsheet. I have gone ahead and created a worksheet called House Data for my inputs to be transferred to. Now we can go back to our user form to add code to our close button. Again, to add code to this button, just double click the button. Here is the specific function I have used to close my user form. Below is the code for a launch button we will be adding to this spreadsheet later in this video. Now that the code has been written, we may run the code to ensure there are no errors. There were no errors within the code, so it looks like it successfully transferred our data to the desired spreadsheet. Now it's time to add our launch button. In the Developer tab, there is an Insert button. Click the drop-down and choose Button. Place the button wherever you would like in your spreadsheet and assign it the code you have already written. Also, make sure to give your button a caption. In this example, I will caption it, Enter House Data. Now we will go ahead and test the launch button. When you click the button, your user form should pop up. Now, enter your inputs and click the Transfer Data button. You may now close your user form to check that the data has transferred. And there you have it. That is how you create a simple user form using Microsoft Excel. Note that when saving this file, do not forget to save it as a macro-enabled Excel file. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.